Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Mr. Randall, Mr. Randall. Oh, hello there, Jerry. Something wrong? Gee, I, I don't know. I'm sure glad to see you, though. Look, look at all that smoke coming out of Clara's tent. Huh? I was just going in when Rag threw you coming around the corner. Oh, quick, quick, Jerry. We haven't any time to lose. Oh, boy, look how that smoke pours out. You can't see a thing. Here, here the flame's over here. You got a blanket or something, Jerry. Okay. <laughs> hey, here you are. Yeah. Why, oh, it's the ironing board. Yeah. Golly, but that smoke's bad. <laughs> there, that does it. Hmm. Good there wasn't much of a blaze, just an awful lot of smoke. <laughs> Someone must have left the iron on. Hmm? Sure, I'll, I'll disconnect it. Well, that's inexcusable. I've never known Clara in all the years she's worked for me to do a careless thing like that. Say, uh, Mr. Randall, look. Uh, where? Here on the ground. Huh? See where some of the sawdust is scraped away? Looks like a footprint. Well, I guess it's yours, Jerry. No one else has such a small foot. You're getting so detective conscious, you'll be catching yourself one of these days. No, but but look, Mr. Randall, this is a lot smaller than my foot. Oh, well, so it is. Say, it, it couldn't be Major Might. Hmm? Oh, no, of course not. Major Might? Well, he's just crazy enough to... Come on, Jerry, uh, let's drop in on him. He'd be dressing now. Uh, you know, the side show opens before the big show. You know, I, I kind of hated to suggest him, but, well... You know that argument he and Clara had about his yes, watch? Yes, I know. The Major thinks certain people have it in for him, and he just can't convince him any different. Clara's been one of his pet peeves for a long time now. I don't see why he should feel like that about Clara. He's really awful friendly. Well, if you, if you hadn't have had the bright idea about taking that picture in Clara's tent, we might have blamed all that monkey business on the Major. He's annoyed her before. Mr. Randall, I don't know whether I ought to tell you this, but... Well, I, I sure don't want to be a tattletale, but... Well, well, what is it, son? Well, it it may just be a coincidence, but the other night, Patsy and Bump and I went to the cafe near the lot after the show, and... Mm. Go on, Well, Joe. the major came out just ahead of us, and, and he was carrying a big bag of bananas. They were sticking out of the top of the bag. Patsy kind of laughed, and Bump said he was probably giving his friends a party or a treat or something. Well, what's all this? To well, do? you see, later that night, when the watchman and rags and... Me saw that shadow. Yeah. And, and then we went back to the monkey cage after finding the footprint. Yes. Sir. Well, there was a banana peel laying on the ground right outside the chimpanzee's cage. Oh, well, of course. Lots of people might have given that to the chimpanzee. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't say anything to anybody then. But the next morning, Bumps and I were going down to see Uncle Dan. And... Oh, yeah, I know. And the uh, bearded lady was uh, bawling out the poor major about Patsy's costume. The major came and explained the whole thing to me. That costume had been left in Clara's tent to be mended, and I hope Patsy put it in there myself. Oh, you don't say. Say, if anyone else pulled a stunt like this, providing, of course, the Major is responsible for this electric iron and all that monkey business and Patsy's costume, I'd fire them oh, so gee, quick. Oh, gee, Mr. Randall, I, I hate to have you do that. Yeah, but with the Major, I'll, I'll just have to let him know I'm onto him and what he's done, and he'll be so ashamed he'll be good for the rest of the season. As good as he can be, that is. Oh, oh uh, there's his tent right over there. Now, uh, if I were you, I, I'd just take a little walk with Rags and let me see the Major alone. 
Oh, sure. Sure thing, Mr. Randall. Uh, I'd just rather he didn't know you had anything at all to do with all this. So would I. Uh, you see, Jerry, it's really my fault. I, I asked you to try and find out about those things that were disappearing from Clara's tent, so you only did your job. I'm sure glad I could help. Help? Huh. It looked to me as if you sold it all. Uh, hang around. I'll, I'll see you when I come out. Okay, Mr. Randall. Come on. Uh, Major. <laughs> Major Might. Oh, hello, hello, Watson. It's Sam Randall. Oh, yes, Mr. Randall. I'll be right out. Uh, good. Oh, there you are. Didn't take you long? No, sir. When the boss comes to see me, I'm a quick change order. Well, hmm. Uh, well, Major, I'm uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Well, you don't say. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Randall. Well, Major, I, I don't want you to take offense at what I'm going to say. Well, I never have, have I? Uh, oh, you and I have always gotten on pretty well. And that's just how I want things to keep on going. Well, that's a ticket with me, too, Mr. Randall. Now, I understand you and Clara have been having a little hard feeling lately. A little? Say, listen, Mr. Randall, I'm glad you brought that up. I've had more of that woman's meanness than uh, I'm going to take. No, uh, we uh, won't go into that, Major. Personally, I, I think you're all wrong about Clara. Everyone else seems to be very fond of her. Well, that's just because they got a buffalo. But she thinks she can push me around just because I'm little. Then when I try and talk back to her, she's really vicious. Well, what do you mean, vicious? Oh, this just goes to show you. I admit we've been having words lately. Uh, so I, I hear. Well... After the storm the other night, my coat needed pressing. Uh, I, I can imagine. Well, I asked her to press it before the matinee, and she wouldn't promise. Anyhow, she said she had a lot of other things to do first. Well, after that storm, I, I know she had a lot to do. Yeah, well, why did she pick on me? Well, did she press your coat? Well, yes, but I had to wait till the last minute. And then, you know, she stole my watch. That magnificent watch that the King of Romania gave me. <laughs> I tell you, Mr. Randall... I thought more of that watch than anything else in the oh, world. But Clara wouldn't do a thing like that. Yeah, but she did. I know I had it in the inside pocket of my coat. When I looked for it after she pressed it, it was gone. Oh, I just can't believe that Clara would do a thing like that. She's dangerous, Mr. Randall. She's vicious. And, and... Uh, now, just a minute, Major. <laughs> While we're on all this, even if she did take that watch, which I don't believe... Don't you think she might just be trying to get even? Get even? Now, what about all this business with Aga, the chimpanzee? What? Well, what? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You uh, haven't heard about the trouble Clara's had in the wardrobe lately? Why, no, of course not. About the chimp that was let out of its cage to go in there late at night? And about the little man who's been feeding the chimp bananas? Why, Mr. Randall, you certainly don't I think certainly that I... certainly do think you've been back of all of this. And I've got enough proof for you to confess and make a clean breast of the whole story. Well, uh, I'm completely flabbergasted. Yeah, yeah, you'll be more than flabbergasted if you don't confess. I want you to know I've just come from her tent now. And fortunately, got there just in the nick of time. Well, what do you mean? I'm talking about a fire from an electric iron. Oh, no, Mr. Randall. It couldn't have caught fire. That's just what it did. And it's lucky for you, I happen to be going by there in time to put it out. Yeah, but I, I just meant to scorch your ironing board a little. Uh-huh. So you did do it, huh? Never mind, I knew it all along. No, truly, Mr. Randall. I didn't mean any harm. I put it on just before the end of the matinee. Mm -hmm. I thought she'd find it, of course, before she went off for supper. Yeah, yeah, she probably never went back. Yeah, but she always does go back after the show. Well, she missed this time. Anyhow, you just missed sending our whole circus up in smoke. Oh, Mr. Randall, I don't know what to say. I, I... Why why would you do such a thing, Major? Well, she took my watch. Well, you think she took it. Remember, you took her thimble. And I hear Clara set great store by her thimble. It was a gold one that her grandmother gave her. Well, Edgar wasn't supposed to steal anything. She she was just supposed to mess things up. Yeah, she did that all right. Well, when I when I find out she'd taken the thimbles and those paste buckles... I took them right back and hid them among the things so she'd think they were there all the time. Oh, so that's how you happen to have Patsy's costume in your tent, huh? Yeah, sure. I, I was just waiting for a chance to get it back when that miserable bearded lady had to find it. By the way, uh, how are you and she getting along nowadays? Oh, don't ask me, Mr. Randall. I never want to see her again. She's just a... Uh, she's just a pest. That's what she is, a pest. <laughs> you certainly have a time getting along with all your lady friends. <laughs> what are you going to do with me about all, all that? Well, I'll tell you, Major. First of all, I'll have to deduct enough out of your salary to get Clara a new ironing board. Truly, I, I didn't really mean to start a oh, fire. Oh, I, I'm sure of that. But you've got to think more and, and not let your temper run away with you. Now, that's one thing. Well, I'll try, Mr. Randall. Honest, I will. Uh, good. 
If you'll only forget all about this, I'll promise I'll never lose my temper again. Honest. Well, we'll see, Major. Meantime, oh, oh, hello there, Jerry. Uh, uh, who you got with you there? Excuse me, Mr. Randall, but I met this messenger boy down on the lot, and he asked me to show him to Major Mike's tent. Well, you got something for me? Yes, sir. Well, that's funny. Where from? The Ransom's jewelry store, sir. Well, I didn't buy anything at a jewelry store. Are you sure you got the right name? Sure, it's Major Might, all right, with the Randall Brothers Circus. Well, that's me. Gee, maybe someone's giving you a present. If you'll sign here, Major. Yeah, here, here you are. Good evening, sir. Well, 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 I wonder what this can be. Great God, free man, open it. Let me see, a little box like this. I wonder what it'll be. That's a ring. No, 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 it's too big a box for a ring. Uh, yeah, now, I'll, I'll open it. So... What? Oh, well, what's wrong, Major? What is this, a joke? Why, it's a watch. I'll say it's a watch. It's my watch. The watch I've been so worried about. Well, I'm glad you got it back. Yeah, but why from a jewelry store? Maybe you had it fixed and forgot about it. Mm, certainly not. Do you think I'm feeble-minded? No, of course not. Guess I'd know if I sent my watch to a jewelry store. Well, you better look it over carefully, Major. Mm. Uh, open up the back. It sticks a little... There. See? Oh! Oh! Oh, me, I'm a... I'll kill her! I'll kill her! I'll kill her! No, no, here, here, Major, here. I, I thought you weren't going to lose your temper again. Now, now, take it easy. Why, that's a picture of the bearded lady. Vandal! That's what she is, a vandal! So, that's what she was doing snooping around my wagon the other morning, taking my watch so she could get a picture engraved on the back of it. The nerve of that woman! I'll, now, I'll Major, get... now calm down. Jerry and I have to go along now. Now, just take it easy. Remember, it's hard on your digestion to get so mad. Uh, I'll get even with her if it's the last thing I do. Well, she, she probably was trying to be nice, Major. But my watch! <laughs> the one that the king of Romania gave me. And now it's got the bearded lady's picture engraved on the back. <laughs> Come along, Jerry. Okay, Mr. Randall. Goodbye, Major. And I I'm sorry. Sorry! Sorry, I'm more than sorry. I'm... I'm... I'm speechless! <laughs> Poor Major. <laughs> what a time he has. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, though, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, Jerry. But we must never let the Major know he just can't stand kidding. <laughs>